Just wanted to let you know, you make me feel good. Get intelligence. Almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. I'm Why is it so loud? Allier. Wait, it's a small here. price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Why did I go away? I was right where I wanted to be. And why did you start on the ship when I finished on the viewpoint? Yeah, I don't have an activity. Wait, that's a general store. Never mind, I don't have any money. I did go and do some collecting stuff and salvaging off stream, so I can focus more on the main activities here. If he could do me the privilege of actually climbing stuff, One little victory. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. <clears throat> if you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, yes. and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Yes, Master Pucker's gun. Yes, buckle gun. All day to find the buckle gun at weak points. Free aim using blah blah. Loose a trip to Spider Captain. Sir! I will join you on this one. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a chauvier mood, Shane. Why That's shouldn't like I, I be? Am. I have a new weapon, and we'll soon have a chance to use it. Let's Besides, try the Icebreaker. Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. He also took the liberty of ordering some of the brutes. Morgan now has a ramp to ice and sand. Ooh, there was cargo in there. I have heard but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye, he sailed the ferry walkers. And he may have the precursor box. Then let's find him. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, Here they come! Fire! Damn. Blues up! Jesus next! Okay. Up. Need to aim and then let go. Fire! Oh, they're just firing. Okay. Gunboat, gunboat, schooner. There. Schooner. There he is. Most fortunate timing. Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us. Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can these blockheads go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. 
Yeah, I'm just checking out the escorts. Maybe he came here to meet someone, or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Okay, now I can barely heal them. That must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known that. He's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? With him out of the way... Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. Box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship, or force him to beach. Okay, let's catch him. Through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram shape. Let us hope ours fares just as well. Yeah, new ram. Well, I need to stun him. I need him to stop. It worked. The way is clear. Now, once more, your fortune rules. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. No, he's not. The foe patrols these waters closely, Captain. It's an ambush! Halfway is sent out on our fair! Smith must not escape! Ow! Oh, I need to defend now! That was new. Elwood, give you the money. Get me some speed. I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. They said sink three gunboats with the puckle we'll gun. We'll find him. Ah, ah! There's Smith. He's moving again. Give me my camera. I'm glad to disappoint him. I'm still within reach. Okay, he's not far. We'll get him. Crowd on every inch of sail. Stuntsels out. Some salt. Okay, let's go. Running oil, huh? Is this another Templar tactic? You can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Yeah, it's gonna burn out. Give it a minute. 
Stunts out. Let's get moving. Move the Come on. For sale. All sale. All sale. Sir. Wait. They left cargo. It's an escape tactic, it's not. Excuse me, my throat is still giving me trouble. Burning gold is an escape tactic, not a actually damaging one. Now we know where he was headed. Barson has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. This is mine. Terra Nova. No, other way. Lime use. Stupid. How about this instead? I have hope dots. Yes. Uh, use them to hang. Aim them to drag forward. Turn around. Nothing. Ah. Oh. Fish in a barrel, mate. Come on, don't lose the tit. Don't lose the tit. Can't you climb this thing? Come on. Oh, so you want to do this up close and personal? Ah, too far away. This will be your end, assassin. Oh yeah? You <coughs> This cannot be. <coughs> no. Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe 
could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. Bye bye. Oh, I didn't know I had to. Okay. Yeah, burning oil. Put pebbles in the hole to activate the burning oil, aiming mode and use to aim, then press or hold to leave a trail of fire. Wait, everyone's gone? Okay. Let's reload my ammo. What's that? Native pillar? What is that? I'll come back for the other things off stream. But what is a native pillar? Yeah, I think I probably need to go in that cave. Reach the native pillar. Yes, I know how that works. What the hell? This way? No. I hate it when they take over my camera. Oh, I should run over here, yeah. Focus on the native pillow. Okay. What do I do with this? Decipher the hidden code behind these native totems to uncover ancient artifacts. Align all lines on each end of the pillar. Select and rotate. Okay, neat. Damn. Did not see that one coming. What was that? Native totem. If I'm already here, let's just grab these things. I guess.
Hey, paintings. Humanity. The good spirit saw that his creations heeded his wars and were capable of wisdom. He wished that he might live forever in harmony. Stubbornness. The good spirit saw the mischief that his brother did and knew that even his help would not be enough. He told his brother to stop making trouble, but the evil spirit refused. This is why there is still evil in the world, but people can also cast out this evil and find a good spirit within. All people can choose the path they follow. <coughs> Grand Master Birch, my informants in Porta Prince tell me that McCandle shares your interest in relics from the first civilization. He collects them. There were whispers of something called the Heart of the Brotherhood. Yeah, I read that one. Audition, Mademoiselle Madeleine de Lizelle. Your masterful handling of your father's business has not escaped our notice. Your elevation into the upper caste of New Orleans society has not escaped our notice. Your discovery of our odor hiding beneath the skin of the world has not escaped our notice. You have our attention. We are all aware, we are well aware of your desire to join our ranks. Here then is our offer. We believe there is something of immense value beneath the ancient mine stones of the Yucatan Peninsula. Our endeavors will require large quantities of raw materials, including a constant supply of disposable labor. If your cunning can supply our needs, we will see to it that your power and influence is not limited to the paltry colony of your birth. By receiving this letter, you have already agreed to our demands. Stand ready for further instructions. May the Father of Understanding guide you. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Where is this going? Probably the way out, because this is not. Should I be going? I went up here, I climbed up. Climb, climb. I have to go. I. Do I? Or just go the way you came. one chest. Of course it's over here. Okay, explain it to me like if I was a child. How the hell?
Nope. Still no way. No, you idiot. There's a ledge over there. There's a ledge. Go to the ledge. Uh. Right. What's this? Abandoned ship. Now wall territory. <clears throat> Saint John. Everything cleared except the locked one. Where's the next mission? Over there. Okay, let's go over there. No, the precursor box. Smith's dead. Well done, Chen. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Ligurfo. We'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating, Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but... At what cost? Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Killing him was... But... Nothing. Smith was a dangerous man. A Templar. What's worse, he had the precursor box. You should be proud of yourself, Shane. Perhaps. We should head for Albany now. James Ward, the fellow Lawrence Washington, who had manuscript to be there. Siegel Watson reported that James Ward reported about the tribes from their ancestral lands. I want to salvage a bit. Actions affect others. Fire! 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 Okay, we're fine. Brief the top sills No, don't let's let go. Don't, don't just let go. Get the into the wind. I'll make short work of you. Make them rue the day they cross us. Who are we voting? Them? Okay. Buckle gun. That's how you board a ship. Then not board a ship. Okay. Board them now. Give me that gun. Oh, that's it? Ah. <sighs> um, you don't have a rifle.
Why can't you just reload the puckle gun? To the wind. Who's top uh, you young sailor and listen Another brig. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea. Fire! Fire! Yeah! Fire! Yeah! Fire! Fire! Yeah! Fire! Yeah! Brief it on top! Then that was quick. Well done, crew. Hang on, I want the one on the right first. Oh, the, that one. Not very good coffee. Come on. Stop moving. All the loot, all the monies. Let's go. Loose mate says the materials you have aboard can improve the ship, Captain. I know. Can boat, can boat. Break. Oh, I need to save them. Okay. I'm coming to help! Yeah, I know.
Hang on, I need to climb that. It's not that cold in here. It's not Arctic sea ice. Come on, you can jump. So much if I would have missed that. Okay, back to ship. Get the maid free. Wait, there's a box somewhere. Find the skip box. To the wind. Dun, 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 dun. Give me a song. Safe and sound at home again. Let the waters roar, Jack. Safe and sound at home again. Let the waters roar, Jack. Long we passed on the road and trim the yards off the safe ashore, Jack. Albany, July 1754. It's Albany. Okay, what am I doing here? Is it all of a restricted area? Yeah, the tiger, what kind of music is that? Citizens are warned that an outbreak of typhoid is at hand. Typhoid. I shouldn't be here. Climb the tree, climb the tree, walk the tree, up the bell. One bad guy. No other bad guys. Let's go. Come on, come on. We the people. 
I hope. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Okay. Division of label. That's good. Sneak into the Congress undetected. I love stealth missions, don't you? Stealth missions are the best. gone. Next hiding spot is... is... I don't fucking know. Come get me. Or I'll get you. Is hidden enough. Um, um, hiding spot. Hiding. Albany City Hall. Albany's first city hall was built by the Dutch in the 1660s. It is speculated that the British replaced the city hall with a larger building on the same site around 1740, but it was still refer referred to by the Dutch name Stadhuis. 1754, the Stadhuis was the city of the Albany Congress, site of the Albany Congress, where Benjamin Franklin first proposed the Union of the Thirteen British Colonies. A voice in the grey, the fracture in Helix has gifted you my eternal presence. The machine-human interface blurs the grey, little by little, with every passing moment. Your world has suffered from a lack of consciousness. My consciousness. These... George Washington, born 1732, died 1799, 67 years old. George Washington was born in Virginia to a family of moderately prosperous tobacco planters. When Washington's father died, Washington's father died. His older half-brother Lawrence became his role model. Lawrence married Anne Fairfax, whose father, Colonel William Fairfax, exerted a great influence on George Washington. The Fairfax family helped launch George Washington's career as a government surveyor. In 1751, George traveled to Barbados with Lawrence, who suffered from tuberculosis. George caught a minor case of smallpox which sickened and scarred him, but saved him from, his, from worse disease later in life. A year later, Lawrence returned from the tropics to Virginia where he died, leaving George in control of the family plantation. Washington inherited his brother's position as an adjutant and became a major in the army. In 1754, militiamen militia under his command ambushed a French patrol who were encroaching a nearby fort and it became the first battle of the French and Indian War. Later that same year, Washington surrendered to the French at the Battle of Fort Necessity, but mistakenly signed a document saying the commander was assassinated. Fun fact, Washington's allies first fired first and without provocation. This guy was cursed from the get-go.
Is that Ben Franklin? Ah, uh, that must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he. William Johnson. Born 1715, died 1774. William Johnson was born in Ireland but is Catholic. Found himself with few opportunities in the British Empire. In 1738, he converted to Protest Protestantism. I don't know how that is pronounced. And arrived in the colonies to work for his uncle. Johnson quickly went into business for himself and became heavily involved in trading with the local natives, particularly the Kanekoka. He gained the respect of the Iroquois people by, by learning their language and respecting their customs. Johnson was appointed as New York's agent to the Iroquois and was instructed to equip colonists and natives for a campaign against the French. Johnson was inducted into the Templars by Lawrence Washington and the two worked together in secret to build an infrastructure for their order in the colonies. Samuel Smith There are virtually no details of Samuel Smith's life. We suspect that he was born in Virginia and showed some skills as a sailor. He was a treasurer for one of Lawrence Washington's business, businesses and by extension the Templar order. After Washington's death, he answered to James Wardrop. I wonder if this is why he was hired. No one really knew him, and no one would really miss him. He was completely expendable. Agent Acosta, you are all completely expendable. Manuscript. <coughs> knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must <coughs> join or die. A rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course, of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post haste. Else I will have him scalped. So. Oh. Chase that guy. I can't let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. Wait, Ben Franklin. <clears throat> Born 1706, died 1790. Benjamin Franklin was born in Boston, the tenth son of a soap maker. While apprenticing for his brother, a printer, he gained fame as a writer, working under the pseudonym Mrs. Silence the Good. Really? In 1723, Franklin moved to Philadelphia and continued his career in printing and writing as well as other art jobs. In 1725, he visited the Royal Society of London for scientific experiments. Upon his return to the colonies, Franklin became a true polymath. He created the Junto, a discussion group for issues of the day that inspired many other intellectual societies. In 1732, he created one of the first subscription libraries in the colonies, and the following year began to publish his famous Poor Richard's Almanac. Over a decade later, he began his experiments with electricity, using it to create and improve devices such as the capacitor and the Leyden jar. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> his political writings began to gain attention, and in 1754, Franklin attended the Albany Congress to discuss the conflict with the French colonies as well as tensions with the Iroquois nation. He proposed a unified government to organize the colonies and created a political cartoon with the motto, Join or Die. <coughs> Although the unification was accepted by the delegates at the conference, it was rejected by the British Board of Trade. Franklin took several political trips to England to represent colonial interests. Although he initially fought for the rights of the colonists as British citizens, he concluded that independence was the true solution. Franklin contributed writing to the Declaration of Independence and was present at its signing on July 4, 1776. For the remainder of the American Revolution, Franklin lived in Paris as the American ambassador to France. Jack Wicks 
born 1723. Jack Weeks was born in Albany in a couple, to a couple who escaped slavery in Virginia. They taught him to be independent and to take advantage of any opportunity to better himself. At the age of 10, Weeks began to work as a pickpocket and thief at local markets. Weeks attempted to pick the pocket of explorer and Templar Christopher Gist. Gist caught him in the act, but was so impressed by the boy's cheeky attitude that he hired him as an errand boy. Gist took him on his travels and taught him about trade and how to mimic people of various social status and origins. In 1750, Gist was hired to explore the lands west of the colonies and so introduced Weeks to George Monroe. Gist suggested the officer should take the young man on as an assistant. Weeks impressed Monroe with his cleverness and adaptability. Monroe taught Weeks about the Templars and their goals. Weeks admired Monroe's intellect and agreed with the Templar philosophy of crowd control. When Gist joined the Templar Order in 1751, Monroe agreed to induct Jack Weeks as well. Hang on a minute. James Wardrop, born 1705. James Wardrop was born to a Templar family in the American colonies. He followed in his father's footsteps and was inducted into the Templar Order in 1720. James Wardrop's main task was to secure land and wealth for the Templar Order. Though the Templars were not yet officially established in the American colonies, men like Wardrop were slowly but surely setting things in motion. In 1744, he began to build a trade network. Hmm. Began to build a trade network for the order that ran from the colonies to the West Indies. By 1750, he was working with Christopher Gist to acquire land in North America. Wardrop endeavored to keep the fledgling American colonies loyal to the British government, but was not above using his position to line his own pockets. Okay. Running. I think I lost, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, again. I can't let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. There we go. Problem solved. Now to wardrobe and the manuscript. Come on, climb. Leave her, Johnny. Why do I have to hold tab for so long to get to the database? Kitas. Why are you making so much noise? Albany. The Albany region was originally inhabited by the Algonquian tribes, in particular the Mohicans and Iroquois. Albany was claimed by the Dutch explorer Henry Hudson in 1609 and was settled in 1614, and trading posts were created soon after. The British took control of the area in 1664 and renamed the town of Beverwick as Albany. Tensions rose between England and France. Troops were gathered at Albany to attack the enemy colonies to the north. Colonel William Johnson rallied his allies in the Iroquois Confederacy in Albany and convinced them to declare war against the French. The British laws of trade suggested that the colonies meet in Albany to discuss their common defense. It was at this meeting that John Benjamin Franklin first proposed a union between the colonies. I'm more of a fan of the British laws of time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Now, get in there.
I need to get inside first. you can put your hood up while climbing at the same time. And you're out. Also the flag. And you said you wanted an air assassination. I can do another assassination. Oh. Okay, you missed the thing you're supposed to land on. Okay. Oh, you're fighting a dummy. Okay. That's a cat. Soldier, find that uniform. I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. Hmm. Anything cool? Okay, I'm out. to escape first. Okay. I snuck and I assassinated. Okay. Next mission is far away. Lots of collectibles here, yay. When I'm offline. Okay. This is a completely different territory. Uh. 
This place is not as small as I thought. The two bends. Hooray! Hurrah! Hooray! Hurrah! Okay. Sell cargo. Tobacco, go ahead. Ram upgrades. Buckle gun strength. Fire a large amount of ammo before reloading. Yes. Okay, let's go with Paco Gun Strength. Then more Paco Gun Strength. Then Paco Gun Cylinder. And another upgrade to the cylinder, right? And I'm out of money. Give me some speed! As much I have the manuscript. Great. Hope is waiting for you in Sleepy Hollow. What's in Sleepy Hollow? Benjamin Franklin. The man Johnson hired to make that strange precursor box work. So what's the plan? Meet Hope, impersonate one of Johnson's men, and give the box and manuscript to Franklin. So I'm a messenger, then? Aye. See if this Franklin can figure out how this damn box operates. And stay with him. Oh, and as far as we can tell, this man doesn't know about the Templars or the Assassin for that matter. Oh, a simple task. <laughs> for a simple man. <clears throat> Douse the gallants and royals! Ease off the wind! Pile it all sail! That's very Halloween of you. Welcome to Sleepy Hollow. Mm. I have a Templar map. Sleepy Hollow. The exact date of European settling the land is unknown. But the Dutch fought against local natives in the valley in the early days of New Netherlands. In 1655, a Dutch colonist established published a document that referred to the area as Sleeper Haven, or literally Sleeper's Haven. In 1664, the British took over the colony and renamed it New York. The village would be officially incorporated as North Tarrytown in the 19th century, and the anglicized version of this name did not appear until later and was not used as the town's proper name until centuries later. The village is best known as the settling of the legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. Irving's story was successful enough to get North Tarrytown to change its name to Sleepy Hollow in 1996, but not enough to make anyone named Ichabod attractive or popular. Although explorers such as John Cabot noted the Gulf of the St. Lawrence River in the 15th century, the first European explorer to sail up the river itself was Jacques Cartier, with help from some local Iroquois. He misunderstood the Huron-Iroquois word for village, Kanata, and began to refer to the larger area north of the river as Canada. Explorers and fur traders opened up the territory, French settlements limited the westward expansion of the British, and, therefore, and before long they grew alarmed at the potential scope of French expansionism. The British and French clashed frequently in the colonies, and eventually the Seven Years' War broke out in 1755. 
That's a brig. Fishing boat. Frigate. Gunboat. Prisoner of War frigate. And schooner. Okay, I want to hit that viewpoint. Sleepy Hollow Church. Construction of the old Dutch church of Sleepy Hollow was ordered by Frederick Philipse, a wealthy Dutch landowner. When the British claimed the colony, he pledged his allegiance to the crown, as was rewarded with the title and manorship. He chose to settle in North Tarrytown, colloquially known as Sleepy Hollow. The church, like the rest of the region, became famous thanks to the short story The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. of fine racing horses is available from Jenkins and Sons. Their quarter horses cannot be beaten on the short track. And their standard That's a very short viewpoint. What? What? You're a good dog. In the height of fashion, insist that your dressmaker use only the finest East India Company calico. Hear ye, hear ye! Shanty. There's a box. Right here. I hope. I hope. I hope. You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not mm. the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Oh. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. Oh, so I have to go do all the running and legwork. This is intolerable. I can barely conduct my research anymore. Everyone is having metal confiscated in the Yes. Gotcha. At least I didn't have to wait an hour before getting it again. There's nothing here. Blood red roses. Eagle vision. Yes, I know about eagle vision. Go away. Yes, I know about eagle vision. Soldier. Aye, sir. Actually, let's go this way. Sleepy Hollow Bridge.
Uh, the keys for this game is just annoying. I'm sure you're seeing things, but I'll take the questions. Yeah, you're seeing things. Did you see that strange stuff in Benjamin Franklin's garden? I keep well clear of that place. They say that man messes with lightning. Speak of lightning. I reckon there's a storm coming. Aye, let's help you. And yours until we're off duty. That's the tavern. Um, can I not? Come here. Let's get you over with. You come back here. No, you come over here. Cod piece? You just call me a cod piece. Enforcements. And let me turn on the fan so I'll have some air. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. Better hurry back to Franklin. Come here, I want to kill you quietly. Sleep dots, great. We have to send you back to the future. Shay, thank goodness. Quick, help me with the rods.
1.21 gigawatts. Franklin, you okay? It's a map. Where is that? Portugal. Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Jay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Do not swim. When did it say do not swim? Okay, let's make ourselves skills. Two bends. Is there something for me to craft? Nothing. Unlock what activity? The nearest bureau is near Mount Vernon. Hope will be expecting me. I'm here. Kiri Ellison? Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Saw it clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. What? Can they take the Morrigan? Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. Okay, guess I'm going to Lisbon. How much of Lisbon do I get? Lisbon, Portugal, November 1755. Whoa, it's been more than a year. Feast of All Saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Oh, just the uh, temple. Benedictus es, Domine, Deus Universi, quia de tua largitate acepimus vinum, quo tibi offerimus, fructum vitis et operis manum hominum, ex quo nobis fiet potus espiritus. This is also huge. Oh, that looks exactly for me. Lisbon. During the Age of Discovery, Lisbon launched many expeditions, among them Vasco da Gama's journey to India in 1497. By the 16th century, Lisbon was a hub for commerce with Africa, India, and Brazil, doing trade in spices, slaves, sugar, and textiles. By the early 18th century, gold from Brazil allowed King John V to transform the city into one of the largest cities in Europe. <coughs> Fun fact. Some of the Gama's expedition to India were actually Templar plots to draw out assassins in, Cal in Calicut. Lisbon also had a history of earthquakes. There were at least 16 recorded in the three centuries before the one in 1755. But the 1755 earthquake was so damaging that it inspired the French philosopher Voltaire to write a long poem about the tragedy. When has poetry ever improved anything? And so, never. Poetry is for the weak. Really? 
would be Hollow Bridge, a bridge that crosses the Pocatinko River, made famous by various interpretations of the legend of Sleepy Hollow short story. Hmm. I'm sure there were lots of bridges that crossed this river over history, but there was never such a thing as the THE Sleepy Hollow Bridge, you know? I wonder why this entry is here. What's so special about this bridge? No idea. Yeah, no map. a bit too far away, you know? Okay. File. Yeah, how do I get to water? find a way up. That's not gonna work. Okay. Nope. That's a nope. Also probably too far. I have to be able to climb this somehow. Is it? 
can see it. We saw it before. Earth. Everything has the tree on it. This one does not have the tree on it. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Gratia Domini Nostri Jesu Christi. Et yeah, it's on top. Et communicatio Sancti Spiritus. Sitcum omnibus bobis. Up there. Hmm. Can you climb this? What do we have here? Oh, hi. This must be it. The precursor site. What do we have here? Ooh, pretty. The artifact. The hell is that thing? You have chosen poorly. Destroying a church. Oh, it's the earthquake. Let 
me turn the camera, damn it! Ow, ow, ow. Move, 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 move. The move full close and cave in on you. Fine, I won't touch the camera. I didn't grab it. Did I grab it? Yes, I know. I'm keeping moving forward. Do this to them. I don't think God it was God. had nothing to do with this. I think God just blinked. While we're loading, I'll fix OBS being annoying and stop being annoying. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead thanks to your damned manuscript. This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents. How dare you? You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Makandal sent his man in Haiti. What the he hell's knew. going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. The other point. He's annoying, but he has a point. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another precursor temple. I don't care that he's mentor, or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. Ooh. Only one thing to do. Studies on the second floor, but maybe check downstairs first. God damn it! What's wrong with this door?
There's no turning back now. <clears throat> I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles. I have to do this. And what is it you're doing, exactly? Stealing from your brothers. Betraying me. Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! Assassins! Stop him! Stop Shay! Do not take damage, do not kill anyone. What is La Vérandry doing? Shooting me because that'll be trouble. How could you, Shay? You attack first. I will follow. You cannot escape. Not for you. Block in. He's a sly one. Come down from there, you. Come on, come on. That's enough. Give back the manuscript, Shay. I'm sure Achilles. I cannot. I will not let this happen again. All those souls lost. One more hardly matters. Shay! Ugh. Ow. That's gonna hurt. Free will. <laughs> what is this? A glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay is up to. This memory is going to look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. <laughs> Yeah, well, he must have survived because the only reason we had this memory is because he had some children. All right, Namaskar. We don't know where Shay is or what he's doing now, so keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move. Well, this is fragmented as hell. Oh, I forgot the maps. Yeah. <sighs> 
located the criminals. Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who she is after. Franklin traveled to England and France, and that guy said Notre-Dame. Shame must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. so fast come here okay for climbing That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Obviously. Go back. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. We should only be able to access Shay's life at the point. You shouldn't be able to sequence any memory after he had children. I'm Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. That's a very weird outfit. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. There's another server we can access to get to the next chunk of Shay's memories. Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear, but please reflect on what we have discussed. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. I've added the location to the next server on your map. Get going. What does that? I forgot. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great. Now you can get into the server room. Why is there a server on the lobby? Server, That's important. I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. To Jean-François Brunet, from Melanie LeMay, 5th of August 2014, Triumph of the Bourgeois. I think focusing on his dysfunctional family and life is the wrong track to take. I've modified your initial pitch, and I would suggest going for something like this. Rodrigo Bourgeois' quest to reform the irrational excesses and corruptions of the Catholic Church from the Tsarist office to papacy experienced firsthand his rise, his reforms, and his unlikely death. Welcome itself is top notch, though. Great work. Give my best to your team.
But what can I get with level 1 security access? This one else. To Philippe Chartrand, from Melanie Le May, 21 August 2014. Giovanni Borgia. So, if I'm reading your reports properly, you're saying Giovanni Borgia was born deformed, miraculously survived, but frequently hallucinated about past lives and associated with some of the biggest occultists of the Renaissance. That's amazing! Our last supernatural movie, They Walk Among Us, was met with really mediocre reviews. We can use these genetic memories to start a new occult thriller franchise, we might be able to win back some of these disgruntled fans. These hand-drawn animations are fantastic. <laughs> We're making good progress here. Nothing here. Stories told in rhyme? It doesn't sound like my thing. <laughs> How can you dismiss it without even playing it? Do I have to come down there and hold your hand? You don't have to spy on me all the so time. I'm glad I went to university for this. Okay. All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go. Restrain him. You give me the child. Oh, shush now. You're all right. Elena, calm down, Mr. Bird. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Biddy. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yago Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Alina's cystic fibrosis. How's that working out for you? Arkane! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's action for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Uh. There now. Isn't that better? <laughs> this pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. <laughs> Gentlemen, release Mr. Bird. Jenkins, give him your gun. Oh, come on. Now. Yes, sir. 
satisfied. It's a start. Really? Punch him. Shoot him in the leg. Great job, Nuskull. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here. Double time. It looks like restoring servers also clears the virus of some of the other systems. You are making excellent progress. I am eager to see what Shay will show us next. Level one clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building as well. If you need to stretch your legs in between animus sessions. Transparent. Like Haith and Kenway, Daniel Cross came from an assassin bloodline, as the Orlov family had at least two generations who served the Brotherhood. Daniel Cross's history of drug addiction and animus-induced psychosis should not take away from his many accomplishments for the Templar cause. Under the influence of Warren Vidic, he was planted into the Brotherhood and earned their trust, eventually meeting their reclusive mentor. Then his subliminal programming activated, and he killed the mentor, triggering the first great purge of the modern age. Al Mualim, Haras, Vali Sel Tradat, Baptiste, Duncan Walpole, Haytham Kenway, Lucy Stillman, Daniel Cross. These are but a few prominent examples of something I've always felt. That there will always be assassins who are willing to abandon their cause to serve ours. Yet there is no one who embodies this idea better than Shay Cormac. And I want the assassins to confront this painful reality. Hmm. Reflect. Uh huh. Change changed direction. Damn it. Huh. That's pretty much the same. to explain what happened in Paris? Gavin Banks led a team of assassins to your laboratory and destroyed it. That lab was supposed to be completely off the grid. How did they find it? Banks is a known associate with Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane, who have infiltrated Abstergo before. He is also not your typical assassin brawler. He follows information. They found a way to access your Phoenix servers. Nothing is off the grid anymore. That facility was dedicated to studying the sage we recovered from Montreal last year. If you had informed me of its existence, Sigma Team could have protected your interests. Did you engage Banks' team? Sorkin and I tracked them from Paris to La Rochelle, where their ship was waiting for them. We fought, but we were outnumbered. Sorkin was stabbed seven times by an assassin we have identified as Galina Voronina. Ooh. And you let them get away? Let's be very clear. I was trained to hunt and kill assassins. It was you who disbanded my team and sent me on a fool's errand across the surface of the earth. I warned you this would happen. You know what? I can admit when I'm wrong. You have my permission to reform Sigma team. I need DaCosta back. Impossible. She's still in Montreal. Unacceptable. I've apologized for my oversight, Berg, but don't push me. The fact is, we need to find new sages. 
Albero Gramatica tells me that Melanie LeMay has a few promising leads in Montreal. When will DaCosta be finished? She's ahead of schedule on security upgrades and firewalls, but Helix is a target for assassins, erudito, and the first civilization consciousness. Ooh. So there have been some setbacks. Is the building physically secure? There's security on site. Send me that. Oh, I thought you were too good to be wasted on such trivial matters. I wanted to cast her back on my team, and if that building is a target, I need to make sure she's looked after. I will also improve their security in my own way. Very well, I'll start preparing the necessary documents. Like DaCosta, you'll be a consultant from Abstergo Industries, there to help bring them up to speed on some new policies. In the meantime, send some extra agents to Paris. I suspect there may still be assassins lurking there. Okay, that was the lobby. Can't access those yet, that's security level 3. God, the field of view is so small! Oh. Index research. Okay, who's hiding behind security level 1? That's 3. I've been there. That's one. That's it. <sighs> That's not helpful. Okay, let's get back. He's not dead, is he? Okay, wake up, Shay. That was some nasty fall you had, though. Who are these guys? If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Sure. She has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring <laughs> his memories. The best is yet to come. New York, June 1756. Six months. Yeah, you don't look so good. Hi. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay? I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! You've been ill for weeks. I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. <laughs> what do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? What happened? New York. New York. 
Dutch West India Company created a settlement in what is now Albany in 1617 and founded New Amsterdam on Manhattan Island. New Amsterdam surrendered to Col Colonel Richard Nicol Nichols in 1664, who renamed it the province of New York. Over the next several years, the area transitioned to British rule and remained there, despite a few conflicts such as the Third Anglo-Dutch War and the Glorious Revolution. At the turn of the 17th century, New York was the largest importer of slaves to the colonies and supply port for pirates. Almost 3,000 Pal Palatin German immigrants were sent to New York by Queen Anne's government in 1710, and Sephardic Jews, expelled from Dutch Brazil, found a home there. These factors helped make New York a diverse and cosmopolitan city. You red Bulgarian! Shut up, woman! Ow! Leave her alone! Ah! Yeah, I don't think you're in a state to fight. Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now nah, you've made things personal. I hope you put up a decent fight. <laughs> I need a challenge. <laughs> and don't come back! Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. <laughs> Why were these men bothering you? Ah, the usual. They feel their owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose, if you're looking for trouble, we'll be needing these. Thank you. Stalkers. <gasps> Don't you look a right gentleman? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. And the manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. Not necessarily. Said catch, do not get stunned by smoke. You picked the wrong side. God damn it. Yes, I know how to tackle, but for some reason it tackled a citizen. You'll regret this! And so will the Finnegans! The hell are you doing? Why can't you jump? What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Very well. All my money. There's a shanty. Must have shanty. C 
come on. Do not get shot. Where is Shanty? Okay, let's start with the flag. No connection. We've got a shooter. As the crow flies, I see him. Too much of the the hell was that? Oh. We'll keep. Bye bye. Gang leaders will hide and try to ambush you, but you can counter their attacks. Listen for whispers. Which will reveal the presence of a captain hiding nearby. Use eagle vision. Compass will fill up as you get closer to your target. Really? Still too far away. No, hide. I've got a shot. Dogs, I can get him from here. Brothers, join me against the enemy. Let us make up. He's running. You coward. Really? Assassins are um, doing protection schemes? Okay. I'm in New York. East Village. Kings Farm. Lower Manhattan. Waterfront. That will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Come here, reclaim what they have stolen. 
You have money in the bank. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. Oh, so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. Anti-slavery meetings. Hell walk. Cheap store. Huh. I'm coming, I'm coming, relax. Jeez. Do I need to run? Produces hives about the face and causes fit men to walk with a limp. Avoid the primitive muck water. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I've arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. We're back to renovations. Renovate. Ah, stone, cloth, wood, metal. Increase income by 300. Doesn't cost any money? The neighborhood will be much better now. Here's the paint fork. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. Actually, I like these mechanics. That's something I like about this game. Okay, there's a viewpoint. The Colonel strikes me as an honorable man. Someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point. I can't change the past, but maybe there's a future for me here. And maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans. Let them know I'm fine. Yes, I know about viewpoints. Is there a way to turn off this? Come on, jump. Let the dog goes. Fancy someone, you know you should. Oh. Oh. I'll even extend my famous one week walk. Hmm. The icon changed. Really?
supply camp in the river valley. Okay, maybe this game isn't as small as I thought. Wait, I can get more? No. Wait, so the red coats and the assassins. So, orange guy is an enemy. I am having many things for the delight you, my friend. Okay. Short drop. Shay, Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I, I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. <sighs> his name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please, tell Master Gist to join me there. Did you hear, Derry? They are hanging a man the in the old fort. Oh, blocks the bells with firecrackers. Don't be ashamed to miss that. <laughs> firecracker dots. Blow off three bells with firecrackers, prevent Gist's hanging by shooting the rope. Catch you later. Get on the thing. Get. Get. Come on. I'm Shay Cormac. But what are you doing here? Don't mind me asking. The Colonel sends me. That was a grenade. Was it? Down you go. Down you go. Down you go. I don't see any more barrels. Losing us. 
Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own dead. How do you know my name? Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is she doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them... Christopher Gist, born 1706. Aside from being born in Baltimore, much of Christopher Gist's youth is unknown. Although he had little in the way of formal education, he was taught surveying and grew up to be a successful frontiersman. In the years before the Seven Years' War, Gist had settled in North Carolina and was the neighbor of the celebrated frontiersman Daniel Boone. In 1751, 45 years of age, Gist became a member of the Templar Order, which sent him to explore the country and present himself to the indigenous people in order to secure alliances and commercial lanes. In 1753, Gist accompanied George Washington to deliver a message to the French, demanding that they leave the Ohio country. This event sparked the French and Indian War, and Gist would continue to fight Washington's side. Fun fact, Gist was part of the Braddock expedition, which you can relive for yourself in Hatem's Journey of Memories. George Monroe, born 1700, died 1757, born Clonf Clonfin, country Longford, Ireland, to a Scottish military family. His father was Colonel George Monroe of Ocean Bowie, who was famous for his victory at the Battle of Dunkeld in 1689. Fun fact, there's a plaque somewhere and it has his name spelled Monroe because it was created in the days before the spell check. In 1718, Monroe joined Ot Otway's regiment, the 35th Regiment of Foot, as a lieutenant. By 1750, he was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. Seven years later, he was placed in command of Fort William Henry with 1,500 troops. Fort Arsenal. After his fail falling out with the Assassin Brotherhood, Shea Cormac seized control of Fort Arsenal and used it for his own personal headquarters. Shea could change outfits, access his cache of weapons, manage his fleet, admire his collections of treasures, and deal with his finances. There are man caves, and then there are man caves. It's like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> I tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post-haste. God damn it. Nothing works. No, I'm not. I'm heading your way. Close the box.
anything over here? No. You were saying something? Oh, my ship. Up. Up. No more assassins here. Hang on, my OBS is being annoying again. For some unknown freaking reason. Ow. I meant for you to jump on that rod. Hang on, there's a thing over on that thing. <sighs> now, we can keep going. Well... She's a fine ship, and true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? I don't have anything. He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Accepted. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Morgan. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. And we shall go to Albany. Splendid! Okay, I have some time. First, let's see about upgrades. I don't have a fleet yet, but I have a bank. It's empty. At least everything is right here on the ship. 
Any cargo? Tobacco. Yeah, a little bit of tobacco. Wait. Stone? 778. That's metal I have the least. Need to get more metal. Ram upgrades. More damage. Heavy shot. More damage. Burning oil. More damage. Heavy shot storage. Burning oil storage. Cool quarters. Give me the ram. Give me harpoon storage. Fine, do the thing. Reinforced ice biker ram. Let's go to the North Atlantic. No, to the River Valley. North part of the world for bigger ships and big, bigger worlds. All the Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Not at all, Sam. But I admire the Colonel's ideas and want to make them happen. What kind of ideas? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, I'll see. Here we go. We're already there. Half sail, get ready to dock. There's no rock, that's a dock. Colonel Monroe, so circumstances. In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. I like it. Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Can to stop that? Will you join us, Master Cormac? It's Captain Cormac now. Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And uh, there's a French outpost nearby I happen to know. I like him. I like the sound of that. I like him. He's cool. And I have 420 monies in the bank. Oh, you want me to sail? Okay, let's sail. Yeah. Set sail, lads! What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine the local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. It's always the little fella who gets skinned. Colonel, you and Gist here seem inspired. Is there something in the water or in the whiskey? 
Why do you say that, Cormac? I think Shane is skeptical of our intentions towards our fellow men. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place for safety and development and purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I would say the danger I am not fast. a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in the Floating cargo for the taking, sir. Says you. I think it's a fine end to a game of cards. Hmm. Yeah, money is always a means to an end. We're heading hard for land, sir! All down! All down! Anchor away! Quick travel unlocked. The liberty. Let me just get that viewpoint and that chest. Hang the key holder using the rope dart. Okay. I'm raiding outposts for the Templar. I'm guessing we're not going in through the usual way. the box I hate it when they do that We've got a key holder Ow. Ow. Come on, bomb. Ow. <sighs> that smoke was supposed to obscure me. From the start.
Come on. Double les patrouilles jusqu'à nouvel ordre. Je remplace tes rien jusqu'à ce qu'il se remette de sa blessure. Yeah, what he said. pour vous. Suivez-moi. Donc, je me suis enrôlé pour une autre année. Vraiment Attends. C'était quoi What are you yellowing at C'était quoi, ça C'était rien pour l'imagination. Um. Félicien, j'ai une mission spéciale pour vous. Suivez-moi. Charles, on rien jusqu'à ce qu'il se remette de sa blessure. On double les patrouilles jusqu'à nouvel ordre. Yeah, that's not... You're not feeling so good right now, are you? Yeah, go, go use the alarm. Nothing. Before I loot that, I see. No. Um. Vous avez entendu ça? Je crois que ça vient de là-bas. Ça veut dire something over there. Well. Ne 
Dude, relax. Let's go to the warehouse. Nice. A hundred metal. <gasps> Use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will need more powerful guns before we approach that fort. Go I, don't think, I don't think I have enough money. Upgrade the mortar. That was a little bit of money. How much is the mortar? First of all, sell the tobacco. Which is nice. Five hundred. Yeah, sure. A lot of black motors. And upgrade motor strength. Burning oil storage. Sure. Wait, I have some appearance upgrades? Progress further or legendary battles. Rio de Janeiro fleet mission. Isle de France fleet mission. Wolf sails. The Jackdaw sails. Black shadow figurehead. Wheels, the Aquila wheel. British Lion, Kraken, the Morgan, Wolf, Jackdaw. That's it for now. New objective capture the fort. It's probably going to be the last thing I do for this podcast. Yes, I have greater stuff. Let's go. Splendid! That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan. Captain at the Get the Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. Intermediate models. This will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Hist. There is plenty around here for any of our types. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in with wounded bear.
Where did that come from? Fire! And now wanted. Fire! I don't see what else. I like the buckle gun. Buckle gun oh, is very cool. Yeah, we we're fine. Careful, Captain. These waters are closely watched by our enemies. Not for long. Kill the lookouts. There's a fragment here. Is it 15 different locations? Just move. What the hell? Oh! A voice in the grey. Set. Je 
Really? Open it, open it. Does anyone have any bullets? No bullets. Thank you. The chasseur? Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? You can yes. say that. From Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chantar. Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Jay. Sorry, I had to be this way. You are always good at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. <sighs> nah. I didn't know I had to do that. When, when was that written? Old Lacroix. Okay. Le Chasseur was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. Economic zone captured. Twenty-five percent total synchronization. Well, two now. While you were busy taking down that fort, I happened to stumble upon the treasury. You don't say. It was the damnedest thing. <laughs> uh, well, in, in any case, amongst other things, I found maps and charts detailing various French trade routes. What are you thinking, Guest? I thought perhaps we could use them to um, help the Royal Navy and fill our pockets. I stored these maps in your cabin, Captain. Should you wish to use them. Sure. The naval campaign. British seven year war progression. Complete the Louisiana mission. Risky. We'll unlock Florida. That's the only one. 
Return to Louisiana any day now. Send a ship to retrieve troops from future deployment. Collect ship requirements. Okay. Skipper, yeah, sure. At least it, it's quicker. Okay. Take the mission. Send the Victoria. At least I'm using the same monies and not weird types of monies. Got some rewards. Evelyn figurehead. Okay, Florida is unlocked. Two monies. Weapons and medicine, I guess. Before we do that, let's clear Florida. At least we can do this quicker. Okay. And the Victoria to Louisiana. And the Duke to Florida. Okay. Anything to do here? Let's do mortar storage. And heavy shot storage. And I'm out of money. The Aveline figurehead. I can buy outfits now. Assassin outfit. Interim outfit. Explorer outfit. Raider. Tracker. Sharpshooter. Captain. Dark Assassin. Versailles. Completing the game. Then when, is it, when am I going to use it? Native armor. Templar 11th century armor. Employee Enforcer, Viking Armor, Employee Master, Admiral, Hunter, Whaler, Frontiersman, Arctic, Assassin Killer, Okay, not wearing Altair's robes, not wearing Ezio's robes. Wait. Holds. Can't buy those. Katana? Why can't I use a katana? Sure, let's use a katana. And a wakizashi, I'm guessing. Yeah, these are not unlocked. Edward's pistol. Okay, katana it is. <laughs> yeah! 
Foi a foi trade trai route no Naval Campaign. Ok. Next course of action is back to North America. So I'll stop here, probably collect all of these things from around here off stream, and hopefully get some more money for upgrading. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay good. Have fun.